Lydia Thorpe yet again finds a way to make everything all about her. The endless protest and counter-protest about women's right to speak made its way to the front of Parliament House today, where a microphone was set up in the pouring rain for women to speak about women's issues. This instantly set off a counter-protest and then, of course, there's the moment when Lydia Thorpe decided to join. Now, she didn't come from the counter-protest. She came from the building behind, where, of course, she is an Australian senator for the next five and a bit years, guaranteed $1.2 million. She tried to make her way towards the microphone because the people had a permit. Police pushed her back, and you've seen the rest of it all day long. It will be studied like the Zabruder film about who did what and when and all the rest of it. And then, of course, she says that she was pummeled by police as she was forced to crawl away. But it is part of a just wider, let's say, um, unluckiness of Lydia Thorpe because she always makes it about her. Today, a day when the Indigenous issues were being discussed by the voice to parliament question, well, what was the pictures that were everywhere? That was the pictures. When it was the Mardi Gras at the height of World Pride events in Sydney, guess who made it all about them? Lydia Thorpe, who, of course, jumped in front of the wrong float trying to stop the police but ended up stopping older supporters of the gay and lesbian community. When it comes to politicians just taking the oath of office and swearing themselves into Parliament, well, guess what? Lydia made that all about her as well. Surprise, surprise. And even Australia Day, Invasion Day, is all about Lydia all the time. This is a war! They are still killing us! They are still stealing our babies! She's so unlucky that she always turns up at these events and somehow seems to be the only thing anyone remembers from them. 